I don't know about this. This video is sponsored by Old Uncle Porker's Pork Rinds. Head over to OldUncleporkers.com and get 10% off your order of pork rinds when you use coupon code OLDNERD10. <laughs> yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, your Old Nerd of the day. And I do try things so you don't have to. Today is another gut-wrenching episode of Eating the Dollar Stores. This is a series where I go up and down the aisles of the dollar stores trying to find what's edible and what's not. It's kind of a, a crossover. There's a new series that I'm starting where I am eating foods of all kinds, snacks and candies and whatever I can find that I have never, ever in my entire life eaten before. Now, I don't know what to call this series, so if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Love to hear it. So today, I am trying Margaret Holmes seasoned collard greens. Never had collard greens. Um, I have no idea what they are. I know they're a vegetable, and I'm not a vegetable guy. I don't eat vegetables, very few. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. Let me go ahead and put on the old guy goggles. And this is a 14.5 ounce can. It says real southern style, homemade, made easy, heart healthy. Uh, savor the natural goodness of real southern style vegetables every time you bring Margaret Holmes home. Then simply heat, eat, and enjoy. So easy way to cook this up. You can either do it in the microwave or do it on the stovetop. I'm doing it in the stovetop. I want the best of what I can get out of this. What are the ingredients, you may ask? Well, happy to answer there. Um, chopped, cooked collard greens. Um, I'm gonna pass through all the, the real beaker type stuff, you know, to keep it all preserved and stuff. Um, sugar, salt, distilled vinegar, chopped onion, crushed red pepper, granulated garlic, hydrogen, hydrolyzed, <laughs> yeah. Soy protein, natural flavor, seasoned, rendered bacon fat with water, salt, sugar, sodium, phosphate, and then it gets into all the other preservatives and, and laboratory type stuff. So it, it sounds like it should be decent. All right, let's head into the kitchen, make it up. All right, stovetop instruction says to put it in a saucepan and heat to simmer. So over low heat. Here we go. Now I know collard greens are a side dish. They're not an entree. Okay, all empty. But I'm not aware what people would eat as an entree with collard greens. So you southern people out there, let me know what goes with collard greens because if I end up liking this I may get it again but I gotta know what to eat with it hmm not much of a, a smell to it at least not now I think I'm mainly smelling the flame from the stove all right looks like this is done I'm getting more of a smell out of it of what it smells like I don't like the smell it smells like somebody's socks that they haven't washed in a month but isn't that, isn't that the way most vegetables smell? I don't know if I should drain this. I don't think I should. I don't know. Well, I don't want too much of the soupy stuff, so we'll just we'll just do that. It has a very unique smell to it. Okay, got a fork. Let's give it a shot. All right. Um. <laughs> This has the look of cooked spinach to me. Um, and, and I do like cooked spinach, although I eat it very rarely. I usually like raw spinach best, like on a sub sandwich or something like that. But that's what it looks like. Uh, and I'm, I'm not really sure how to eat this. Uh, do, you, do you use a, 
any kind of seasoning on top of it? Anybody who's a Southern person, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Do you add anything to your collard greens? I mean, I feel kind of like Kevin Malone on The Office when he's trying to eat the broccoli in that one episode. This is a new food for me. I don't know how to eat it. So, same thing. Um, all right. Last look. Give it a shot. Do it again. Okay. Um, take this by the numbers. Um, it, it's the texture. Since I'm a eat by texture guy, the usually mushy type of stuff turns me off. I'll eat raw vegetables, although very few, like maybe carrots and celery stuff like that but when it's cooked I won't eat it cook a carrot and I'm not gonna eat it but give it to me raw and I'll eat it so the mushy kind of is I'm, I'm trying to deal with it and it's a little easier because I did like I said I like the cooked spinach so I'm used to that I do taste the bacon in here which is nice I mean, everybody loves bacon I'm a bacon guy so I like the bacon flavor that's coming through um it's kind of, it's it's got a little bit of a bite to it also um it's it's just a little bit of a southern type i don't want to say cayenne i don't know maybe i do but it's just got a little teeny bit of a southern type of bite to it a little bit of seasoned stuff that that kind of spices it up and aside from that i really don't know how else to describe it it's got a good flavor i actually do like it i did get this over at the dollar store so of course this is a single buckaroonie um on the nerdometer i would give the margaret holmes seasoned collard greens I would give this a, I think I would actually give this for a cooked vegetable, as cooked vegetables go in my life, I would give this a high, I like it. It's good. I do like it. Um, and I'm not sure if this is how collard greens are supposed to taste, having no previous experience, but if this is how collard greens are supposed to taste, I approve. So I feel pretty confident in recommending this particular brand of collard greens. Go over to the dollar store, pick one up, and I want to know from you, have you had collard greens? Do you like them? Um, and if you get this, is this a good brand to get for collard greens? Uh. Best thing about it is it didn't make me go, ooh, Ooh, ooh. So that says a lot about a vegetable. That is a good vegetable. My dark roast coffee here, of course. So that's your assignment. Answer all those questions down below in the description and Southern people also let me know what would be a good entree to have that with. And finally, let me know what I should call the series of foods, eaten foods that I've never tried before in my entire life what should I call that? There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Uh, follow me on my social networks and on my website. Uh, all those links are down below in the description. And you'll find the Old Nerds toy store there. Continuing to build on that. And if you do all that, you too can become a part of the collard green eating, coffee swilling, Old Nerd crony community. All right. You guys have a freaking awesome day. Give this video a thumbs up. Sure would help me out a lot. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now.